Okay, we're joined here now by uh, Irish uh, singer-songwriter Eve Bell. How are you doing this morning, Eve? I'm not too bad. Thanks for having me. No worries. So how have you been getting on the, the last few months and that with the, the virus and everything? Has it been kind of strange for you? Have you been writing anything? Yeah, it's been very, very strange. Um, I was home in Donegal for basically the first three, four months of lockdown. Right. Um, so that was very strange um, in terms of just coming from being in college in Dublin and going home and just sort of complete radio silence, nothing happening, no uh, kind of social yeah. interaction or anything. Um, and that was very strange. Uh, and I found kind of very stressful for the first couple of weeks. So I wasn't getting much writing done. Um, but then kind of once you settled into it and once you kind of found your routine and everything, I, I was fine. I was, I was writing quite a bit just to kind of, it kind of was therapeutic for me right, to kind right. of help me work through it through yeah. <laughs> the strangeness yeah so in terms of your your own music was music a big part of your life growing up was it always something that you wanted to do um yeah i i don't necessarily come from what you'd call a musical family in that right. um i don't have musicians in my immediate family right. but um everyone in my family is very passionate about music and there was always a lot of different music being played in the house so I kind of had a lot of different influences going on from when I was quite young um, and then I kind of started playing guitar when I was around maybe 10, 11 and then started right. writing songs like 13 or 14 um, and I just never stopped so <laughs> it was kind of it's always kind of been there in the background yeah. that kind of love yeah. music and yeah. singing and everything so yeah. Yeah, and a, a lot of your music, a lot of your songs, um, there's a there's a lot of emotion, a lot of depth to them, and that, and and in a way, especially the more recent ones, they seem to be very kind of personal songs. Is it is that something that like is is difficult for you to do to put that kind of emotion, put yourself out there, I suppose, in a way. Um, weirdly, no. It's uh, it's something that's kind of I've always found the easiest things to write about are the the hardest things to go through. Uh, if you know what I mean so the things that have caused been really difficult for me the things that have caused me like a lot of pain or emotionally um, I find those are the things I want to write about those are the things that it feels most natural to write about so in a way it's it's the easiest thing for me to 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 put into my songs um, and I just I, people kind of ask me sometimes like oh do you not feel a bit like embarrassed or like shy like putting all that out there for people and just it doesn't really occur to me maybe I should be a little yeah. bit more like oh you know this is very personal but um I think in the music I listen to as well I really gravitate towards that like real honesty in the lyrics and stuff so I probably try and emulate that a little bit in what I'm doing so um yeah I guess it's, okay. it's definitely a, an important part of it is to just be really honest I think and in terms of like the music you're writing at the moment, is it kind of more the same of that, just kind of what you've been going through, even in lockdown and the weird feelings of that? Yeah, 100%. And it's quite difficult because I find that what I write about a lot of the time would tend to be like rom romance and right. breakups and heartbreak and all that yeah. kind of thing. Um, so it's been really interesting for me to kind of go through this weird, like, yeah. You know, lockdown's been really difficult for everyone in a lot of different ways and um, kind of figuring out what that meant for me and like why it was difficult for me and, and writing about that. It gave me a lot of space to kind of figure out some yeah. new material and figure out some new angles from which to approach songwriting. Um, so, yeah, definitely it was, a, it was an interesting one to kind of write about that kind of new emotion that I think it was for a lot of people the first time they've ever gone through such a such a long period of, of just not seeing their friends yeah. not being loved ones you know so it's it, yeah it very definitely. very strange and the uncertainty strange, i suppose yeah. of everything in terms of earlier this year then you released the um, begging for rain which is a, a great song and that seemed to come out around the time everyone was being locked down so w was that kind of difficult that you weren't able to get out there and gig and perform it live for people yeah um it was painful honestly <laughs> like having a song out in the world and not being able to kind of gig with it um and you know i got a lovely reaction to it people were really really supportive that was one thing that was really lovely about lockdown was yeah you know the amount of support for artists and creatives you know there was still this music coming out and people were still like there in their droves to support irish musicians and everything but um 
it was very hard not to be able to gig because I know for a lot of people you know it's, it's a break from from working and people working from home and everything um but I think being being a musician like a huge part of like my where I get my happiness and yeah. my energy is from playing live and that's kind of gone out the window for we don't even know at the moment like in, in oh, Dublin yeah. we're not allowed to have gigs or anything so it's just it's such a strange uh feeling to kind of have that element of being a musician taken away and uh obviously live streams and stuff were a great alternative but it's not quite the same as just engaging with people face yeah, to face so yeah it was it was difficult to put out a single and not have the opportunity to gig with it yeah and I suppose even in playing live, you you think that there's a lot of musicians who kind of rely on that for their income a lot of the time. So having that taken away, it must be just tough for, for like people you know who are gigging musicians and that as well. A lot of your friends and that, I'm sure, that oh, have yeah. gone through a really tough time at the moment. Even wedding bands and stuff, you know, there are people who like that's what they do and now there's no weddings yeah. well, that was for it, them that was to it. be bands less, you know. So, it's, so yeah, it's tough. tough. Talking to someone a few months ago who plays in a wedding band, they said they're, they're never going to give out about having to sing ABBA songs again. They just miss playing live so much. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, as well, one of the things you were involved in in lockdown, obviously, we can talk about is like the Irish Women in Harmony and, um, you know, the great cause that that is and the, the huge amounts of money that's after raising so far. And, you know, they were planning a, a Christmas single or something as well to come out to hopefully raise some money. How did that come about for you? Um, well, it came about through Ruth Ann, who was just, she was just the powerhouse behind the entire thing, the real kind of driving force. Yeah. And she asked me, did I want to take part? And I was like, absolutely. Um, this is incredible. This is an amazing opportunity. And honestly, um, it's been just one of the most incredible experiences being part of it. Um, and just having all of a sudden having this massive support system of female musicians as well, all of them coming together and doing something to make such an important difference and to make such an important statement, um, all while raising money for this really important cause, you know, which is quite close to my heart as well. So it was just, yeah, absolutely. I feel I feel so lucky to have been a part of it and to hopefully be a part of it going forward as well. Yeah. And a part of that as well, obviously, Dolores would have been a huge influence on a lot of um, Irish kind of female singers growing up because she was there. But I, I think of, like, if you think back to when maybe you were teenager, 14, 15, having a song like this where you see so many great Irish female artists coming together, that must be inspiring for a lot of the young musicians out there too to see how many oh, yeah. there is in Ireland. I mean, what's the thing? Um, they say if she can't see it, she can't be it. That kind mm -hmm. of way, you know. It's it's one of those things when when you're a musician, when you when you, and in any discipline, any kind of career, if you're a woman and you feel that you're like vastly in the minority in yeah. in terms of like how many people are doing that job, you kind of feel like you're on your own. You feel like you're up against a huge amount of, of barriers and boundaries. Um, and to sort of see that, like, no, here are all these people and not only this is how many of them they are but they've all experienced that as well you know there was a huge amount of support and solidarity in that um and yeah it, it's really heartening to think about all of the musicians who are teenagers now and who are seeing that and being like you know maybe think you know i've had a really hard time doing this it's not easy but look at that i'll give it another go i won't give up do you know what i mean like that yeah. you know to be able to do that for one person would make it yeah. entirely worthwhile so. yeah because because i think beyond the, the the great like seeing all the the great musicians that we do have in ireland and being proud of them all and the great cause and the great idea it is for what is a, a fantastic cause which is something that's kind of sad in our society i do think that uh, that the influence it can have on new musicians coming through as well can't be understated. Um, yourself, we've talked about how, how difficult it, it has been in lockdown. Have you been able to listen to any new music, find some new bands, anything like that that you've been listening to lately? Yeah, I've been listening to, so Van Rien are a fantastic Irish band who just dropped their first EP there. Um, I've been absolutely mad about that. Um, Taylor Swift's new album came at an ideal time for me. I was like, I've never needed something like this so much. Um, but yeah, I think it was amazing to kind of see like artists like still 
working on this like Emma Langford has just brought out some incredible music as well and to kind of just see that artists have been working away through lockdown and who have managed to overcome just how difficult like emotionally financially psychologically everything you know and to overcome that and to still create amazing music like that's just it's been incredible for me and of course it's great to hear the new music as well you know that makes it a lot easier yeah um in terms then as well of obviously you're saying you're a student as well at the same time how difficult a year has it been to be a student um yeah so i finished college mid lockdown yeah. so <laughs> i was submitting my final essays i submitted my 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 undergraduate dissertation on tuesday and lockdown was called on the thursday yeah. <laughs> so it was just an yeah. absolute whirlwind like doing exams from home doing essays without a library it was wild and uh still not sure when graduation or if graduation will be allowed to happen um but yeah it was it was definitely difficult for for a lot of people i know because normal people came out kind of over lockdown as well yeah. I was watching normal people and uh it was just a big gas because you know I was there and I was away from yeah. Trinity and I didn't yeah. know if I was ever going to get back in there and then this came out and I was like oh you yeah. know but um it was definitely it, it was a, a weird experience it was very challenging um and I say that coming from a position of of a, quite a bit of privilege in terms of I like I had a space at home I could work from I had yeah. you know internet that was working not everyone had yeah. that like some people had to move back to America, some people had to, right. you know, move into <laughs> places where they had no Wi-Fi or no workspace or anything yeah. like that. So, yeah, I, I can't imagine. You know, it was it was incredibly stressful for me and a lot of my friends. But I can just imagine that it was it made it impossible for a lot of people. And you know that we can't forget that. You know, mm -hmm. in, in terms of moving forward now, we need to kind of accommodate people. If we move into another lockdown again, we kind of need yeah. to learn from what happened last time. You know. And the graduation thing, you know, as kind of small as it may seem to some people, it, it's you've put a lot of work into, you know, college for three, four years, and to not have that that moment of of graduating or even know when it's going to be, that must be difficult as well for for students. Yeah. Well, like as I said, you know, regardless of whether it happens or not, I'm gonna rent the the robes and the fancy hat, and then I'll yeah. just go to city centre and take pictures in front of the gate. <laughs> yeah. I'll be crammed. I'll get the photo. I'll be crammed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just just finally, in terms of yourself, you said you were writing music, and that obviously we we don't know when gigs are gonna happen again. Hopefully, hopefully in the new year, in some way, shape, or form, because. Like we were talking about this before with someone else, um, socially distanced music gigs would kind of not really be the same. That they don't lend themselves well to it. But no. for yourself, what what's what's the future looking for you? Is it recording your music, trying to get something um, else out there? Well, yeah, I I'm gonna have new music coming out um very very soon. Um, I'm gonna be announcing that in the next couple of weeks uh, on my socials. But yeah, it's gonna be pretty busy uh, autumn. I think, uh, in terms of releasing new music, which I'm really, really excited about um, and looking forward to. So, yeah, have, have to kind of keep it under wraps for the moment. Keep it under wraps. But it be one of those big things coming soon. <laughs> soon people, yeah. But yeah, big things coming soon. <laughs> but if people want to be the, the kind of first to hear about it, is it like following you on Facebook and, and Instagram and those kind of things is, is the way to do it? Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I have Twitter. all information will be up on those. Yeah. Perfect. Great stuff. Thank, thanks so much for taking time on your morning to, to chat with us, Eve. And uh, the best no of luck with everything. No problem. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.